And then a lot of this also includes then, you know, at the actual visiting, right? So this was, you know, for example, we just went to Rodney Southard's uh, farm, right? One of these cattle farmers. Mm -hmm. And then we went over to St. James and talked to Josh Stacy, and so uh, at Public House. And so, you know, it was that. So engineering as a discipline is all about using design to solve problems. So we got to figure out what the problem is. And the best way to understand a problem is to talk to the people living through the problem. So stakeholder analysis or learning how to go out and talk to people in the community is step one to any good design. When Dan's environmental uh, engineering students came out and uh, we walked through the garden and they had a lot of questions and we talked about a lot of interesting things and they did ask a lot of intelligent questions and they seemed like they were very interested and I thought it was valuable for them and for me. I would say as an environmental engineer it's important to look at food systems because not only is it an issue of the environment, it's also an issue of public health, welfare, and safety. We have to make sure that the food we're producing is safe, both in terms of bacteria and any potential contaminants to the food and whether it's healthy and good for our citizens. Well, the food system in Phelps County is a complex web, so there's a lot of uh, interactions between the different stakeholders, whether it's producers, uh, processors, and obviously the consumer, and then on the back end as well, waste management and uh, government. I think the biggest thing that I learned you know, about the local food system was that the locally produced food is shipped out of the county rather than actually you know, processed here and then you know, served here to the communities. It's you know, shipped out and then essentially a lot of the food that is here in the county is food that comes in from outside the county. Chefs, they do take steps to reduce waste. And I was kind of surprised by that, but they said it's all about the money. They don't want to overproduce and then have to throw food away because that's money that they're throwing away. Food insecurity is, uh, is a mental state. It's not just about being hungry just for just the weekend, but it's the continual nagging feeling that you're going to be hungry. It's not wanting to go home over the weekend knowing that you're not going to have any food. There are resources here for people to access food in Phelps County and there is a stigma associated with accessing those resources. So over the past few years one of the things the students have realized it's okay to talk about being hungry, that food is systems, and that we kind of unearth and bring forward what are some of the impediments to people accessing the food that's here that then puts us on the path to being able to solve those problems. Definitely since COVID happened, there's huge supply chain issues and everyone's complaining about inflation. Well, I think the ways to fix that is to fix the food system and make food more accessible to everybody. Is what we're doing the right way to do it? Or is there any ways that we could take this system, change it around and make it better for our citizens, make it make food more available, more sustainable, more accessible and healthier and easier?